Yeah, welcome to our video and great that you are interested in learning more about details of Scapman. Um, in this video, we will focus on the certificate validation that is used when sending an OCSP request. That is finally checking the validity of certificates. With our Scapman version 2.0, we offer several options here. So we will have a deep dive on this topic. Um, to understand this topic, I think it's important to start with some Scapman basics. Um, as you know, Scapman is basically linked to Azure AD and Intune, as you also see it on the slides. This allows Scapman, for example, to check whether a device or user exists in the Azure AD. So when a client requests a new certificate, um, Scapman validates that request against Intune. And afterwards, the Azure AD is the important component. Let us switch to the OCSP, the Online Certificate Status Protocol. That is also basically used to check if a certificate is valid in real time. Um, we will use, let me say, Wi-Fi access as example here. So a device, for example, wants to authenticate via a device certificate. This certificate from Scapman is presented to the network. So normally to an access point and then to a radio server. The radio server itself checks now if the certificate is from a valid root certificate and then he should trigger an OCSP request towards Scapman. Scapman will now check if the device is valid via asking the key vault and Azure AD. That's basically the thing you see on top uh, on the right corner. If the device is existing in the Azure AD, everything fine and Scapman will respond with the status valid. The radio server can then grant the access to the Wi-Fi in the end. So in details, Scapman checks the Azure AD for a device he looks in the Azure AD if it is existing and enabled, and for a user, it's the same mechanism. Yeah, over the time, uh, we have seen some drawbacks here. One thing is the Azure AD itself is not always maintained and cleaned up by the customers. Important to know here is that Intune and Azure AD store independent device objects. So when you enroll in device to Intune, you will get an Intune object and an Azure AD object. Um, yeah, the Intune objects itself are often removed. So when you wipe a device, for example, this will delete the Intune object, but the device then will remain in the Azure AD. And as yeah, described before, Scapman currently only checks the Azure AD if the device is ex existing there and for sure it is because no one deleted it from there. So the Azure AD, let me say it like this, is not always the perfect point to check if a device is still existing or not. In addition, we have also seen some situation where the Azure AD device ID changes during the enrollment. One good example here is the enrollment of iOS and iPadOS via automated device enrollment. So the device gets enrolled, then he also gets his certificate. And the problem here is that the device will get the certificate with the Intune ID in it because the device does not have an Azure AD device ID that, to that point. And then the certificate will have this ID and when you search for the device afterwards, you won't find it because Finally, when the device is fully enrolled, he will get his final Azure AD device ID and for sure those are different ideas and then this will not match. So basically your OCSP request might then fail because yeah, Scapman can't find the device and then Scapman will say, hey, this certificate is not valid anymore. Um, yeah, those are the two key points why we have changed that behavior in Scapman in the new version. You see it on the slides. So what we have basically done now is adding um, yeah, Intune as additional device 
directory now. So the architecture itself basically looks the same. Scapman already had some connections to Intune, but now we can also use this connection to check if the device is there. So the new feature with Scapman 2.0 is now to validate if the device is existing in Microsoft Endpoint Manager or yeah, Intune as the same definition. User certificates for sure will still be checked against Azure AD. Um, yeah, so how do I set this up? Under the hood, we now offer a new app setting for you. You will find the app setting also described in our docs. Um, the setting you see it here on the slide is app config Intune validation device directory. And there you have basically three options. The first option is the Azure AD only. This is the default value. So if you do not add this configuration or change it, you will have the same default as before. So yeah, for sure. Then Scapman only checks the Azure AD. Now you can also switch to Intune only. So then Scapman only asks Intune if the device is um, yeah, existing there. And as first option, we also offer Azure AD and Intune. The great thing here is that Scapman then queries both directories in parallel. So if one of the directories says, yes, the device is existing, then the certificate will be valid. And yeah, for sure, this also needs some changes in Intune. So um, for sure, Scapman um, needs to store this Intune device ID somewhere. And the place where we do this is the subject name format. Um, so now you can choose between the Azure AD device ID and the Intune device ID in your profile. On the slide, you see that we have added the Intune device ID. So the term device ID means Intune device ID here. Um, yeah, important to say is that you need to be careful here. So if you change that on an existing deployment, then you will reissue all certificates to all clients. And in addition, um, we have also added the setting Azure AD and Intune to, um, yeah, to, to do the migration phase. So clients that have not switched yet to the new SCAP certificate with the Intune device ID in it are then also uh, still valid with their certificates because Scapman accepts both directories at that point. Uh, when the ma migration is done, when all clients have their new certificates with the correct ID in there, then Scapman must not trigger both sources in parallel anymore and then you can just switch to Intune only if wanted. Um, yeah, let's switch, switch quickly to my tenant um, to also demonstrate that quickly what that means. But in the end, it's quite simple. So I'm here in the Intune Endpoint Manager, as you can see it, and I've already prepared a normal SCAP profile, as you already know it. The SCAP profile itself is yeah, set up as also stated in our docs. And as you can see here in the subject name format, I've added the Azure AD device ID. So let us say I have an existing deployment with this idea and now I want to switch to the new deployment option with the Intune device ID. So basically you can just look into the Microsoft documentation and look what possibilities you have here. And as said, the new Scapman version now also supports the Intune device ID. So basically what we will now do is just changing the variable here to the new value and then that's basically it. So the certificate will then only contain the Intune device ID here. Um, important to say is that you also need to do this change for sure on Scapman before. So let us maybe go to portal.azure.com um, let me open my Scapman instance and let's look onto the configuration. So inside the configuration, I already have it here in my example. On your end, it might not be there already um, because maybe you have an old installation or have not yet configured this value. But here it's important to choose the desired value. So if I now change it here to device ID, 
please make sure that you also have chosen Intune as device ID directory here. Otherwise, Scapman cannot find your device because the IDs are different. On my end, that's okay. My Scapman is already configured to only trigger Intune and then that's basically it. I can just save this profile, wait and then our clients should check in again, request a new certificate. Um, yeah, then the certif certificate has the device ID in it and then you're done.